What's up guys and welcome back to WBC Builds and welcome to something a little bit different. You were expecting me to set a weekly build challenge there, weren't you? Well, not quite. From now on, I'm going to be changing up the format of this video. So you guys, I did put out a poll recently, I think maybe a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I can't remember exactly, but I asked you guys whether you were enjoying the weekly build challenges and the main response was you didn't have enough time to do them. Myself, I also don't have enough time to do them anymore every week. So what will be happening now is I'm going to be changing it up to a two weekly challenge. Now it won't go by the name of two weekly challenge. I will give it a new name as you saw on the screen there. This is going to be called WB sees building challenge and I think that will carry on in whatever format it can do forever it's a great format and I love showing you guys things to build and the amount of stuff you come back with into discord is chef's kiss absolutely amazing and yes that was a chef's kiss a proper one so anyway from now on you have two weeks to build anything I show you and then obviously the same rules apply so those rules are every time you build something part of this challenge you come back over to my discord and you go to the share your build section of the discord and you post it in there with the tagline I was challenged to build this then every two weeks I will come back through I will sit there I will sip my coffee I will scroll and I'll choose my five favorite builds from that one now it may be five it may be ten I will judge that each time now on how many things we get through because every week it has been absolutely amazing to get so many amazing submissions in that I just I can't choose five anymore so if I do end up getting loads each time we do this two weekly challenge I will change it to 10 but we'll do that on a week by week basis so make sure you stick around to the end of each video to find out how many we've got. I will announce it beforehand but don't worry about that. So anyway guys it's time to get on to what this challenge is this time around. Now this is a beautiful small-ish Georgian stately home. This is Shockerwick Park which is just outside of Bath in England. Now it carries that characteristic Georgian look about it along with the Bath stone and I think it will make a great addition to anyone's landscape as it sits really nicely in a parkland. So it's time for me to show you what I've done with it. Let's go into the time lapse and get building. All right, so it gets straight into building this one. I'm starting over here on the right hand side. It has two wings and this is one of them. Now these will be used as probably little extra parts of the house. It could be the kitchen, could be the servants areas. Although we will get around to building the stables slash servants block later on. So stick around to see that. You can see the color palette I've gone for here is a nice stripped birch mixed with sandstone. I've got all the sandstone working in there, smooth through to normal. And you've got these nice rusticated bottom pieces to the bottom of the house. And you've got the really nice smooth sandstone and stripped birch finish on the top there to give it this nice sandstone feel as in the real world it's made out of bath stone now bath stone is this beautiful beautiful creamy colored stone that you always see whenever you think of a georgian building this house was originally built in 1750 and it is a lovely house it's still standing today as you can see i believe it's a nursing home now but what i'm going to do here is carry on adding in the rest of the landscape since the house is almost finished we're going to come around the back here and add in the carriage area and you've got the portico which allows you to enter into the house there the back is a bit more simpler than the front there's no columns along the walls but you do have a nicer Venetian window and a larger bayed window at the top there. Moving on now to the other side of the structure, I'm going to put in the stables and the servants block as I just mentioned. And I think I will come back here later on in my time of building Hampwick and actually add in some more details to this area. Because what you probably can't see but off to my left is the Palladium Bridge from a couple of weeks back. And I wanted to bring this into the whole landscape so it all started to feel nice and good. So if you actually have got the Palladium Bridge on hand from when you did that previous week, Weeks, you can build this house next door because why not I'll look great in sort of that parkland so we're going to come around here put a small little formal garden at the front and then throw some trees around and that is the house very much finished so let's take a quick look at it in some lovely little cinematic shots here so guys I cannot wait to see what you come up with when you have a go at building this one yourself this took me a couple of evenings and I'm really happy of how it turned out now I did rush the sort of landscaping around it but that's only because I know I'm going to be changing it up in the future you guys have two weeks so I can't wait to see what that produces there because you know I've done big large country houses before and you saw Wilverley Park now Wilverley Park took me about a week maybe even longer to get the entire landscape done for it so if you have a bit of time give it a proper go so anyway guys let's jump into the top five from last week and see how you got on with that pub 
Right, so first of all, we have Matty here, who has actually featured a few times in the top five. Now, he's built quite a skinny tall boy, but I do like how it fits him and the rest of his town in this image here. I spy a mile at all I. I think that's last week's or the week's before one. Yeah, definitely. That's the Second Empire House, just a couple of doors down towards the very large church in the background there. Matty, great stuff. Thank you for taking part in the challenge. Right then, moving on to number four, we have this one from Adrian, and I believe he featured as well when we did Blake Hall a few weeks ago with the train station. This one is great. I believe it's been scaled up quite a bit here. I think the window's about three blocks wide. Doesn't really matter, as I believe that's probably the best way to do it. When I did mine, I didn't want to scale up too much. I feel like I missed out on quite a lot of details by not doing that. So, lovely stuff here, Adrian. Thank you for taking part in this one. Moving on now to number three, we have Luke. Again, Luke is a veteran. I think everyone's pretty much featured already once in here. So guys, if you are new to this, make sure you're upping your game to what's going on with these guys. Anyway, Luke's done a great job here, a little bit wider than it probably is in real life, but the details are all there. The windows, are, I believe, are two blocks wide, so he's gone for the correct scale there. And I like the way it fits him in the rest of the town here. As always, buildings by themselves don't work. You know, I, I fall into that trap a lot of the times, but definitely, definitely give it a landscape. Landscape does not just mean trees. Moving on here to number two, we have Spirit Dave. Now, he did a nice job here as well. Not overcompensating with loads of shaders on. He's got a nice color palette going on there. And he's given the idea here of it being worn and torn by putting some jungle planks into the wall there. The windows I can see are scaled up to three blocks wide, but the way you've built the rest of the walls out of granite walls here works nicely so you've got a good bit of detail in there and you've debugged some of the walls as well to give you that nice column down below so great stuff there and moving on to my number one position here this week we have honest with a really nice little rendition you've built the whole street there as it would be in islington in real life i like what you've done with the place lovely bits of detail and those trees there really do help set it off as it feels like it's in a nice little park so Thank you all for taking part in that one, guys. Now, before you run away to take a part in this one, remember you have two weeks to do it. And once you've done it, head on over to our Discord and share those. I'm really excited to see what you come up with because I actually had so much fun building mine. As you can see, it was quite rushed, but it really did turn out quite nicely in the end. Anyway, guys, remember, get inspired, get building, share this about, subscribe if you haven't, like it as well, and all the rest. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time. Good luck.